have what appears to be some pretty exciting news, and this is coming from a fellow content creator who is very good at digging through Nintendo employee profiles on places like LinkedIn and other areas where they're able to dig some stuff up. We're actually talking about Doctray81, a fellow content creator who does a very good job digging up these mystery job things in regards to Nintendo, whether it's a job listing or it is someone who used to work at Nintendo or currently does that have updated their job listings with details that we need to pay attention to. So this isn't a rumor. No, folks, Nintendo has a mystery game seemingly ready to go or should be ready to go for 2020. Four. And the thing is, it's a game that hasn't been announced based on what was updated on this listing, so this is something we don't know about yet, and based on what else they worked on, could end up being a massive, major game. So what are we talking about? Well, I don't want to waste too much of your time diving into it. Well, at least before we dive into it. So let's just head right on over to Doctray81's channel. And you can see we are on his channel right now that he dropped this video about five hours ago. Again, you should go subscribe to him if you enjoy this kind of content. And it's an unnamed Nintendo title listed by Nintendo employee. So let's just full screen it because this is what he discovered. And as you can see, this is a software QA tester who worked at Nintendo of America Incorporated as a subcontractor. Now, he worked from March of 2022 through October of 2023, so about a year and eight months, and he was on site. So this wasn't a work from home. He was in Redmond, Washington, inside Nintendo's HQ working on things. Now, he does note in this update, whenever this happened, that he worked on The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, but this is the key part, and another unnamed Nintendo title. Now look, if it had been a title already announced or a title already released, they wouldn't say unnamed. This is because of non-disclosure agreements, game not announced, he's not able to actually say what the game is. Now, he created and executed up to 10 manual test cases per day. Now, manual test cases are very important. This is hands-on testing of video games. Now, he performed ad hoc and regression testing on daily builds. He collaborated closely with developers when creating and confirming bug tickets assigned to smaller specific teams due to proficiency for focus testing areas such as terrain collision audio and gameplay systems now again a lot of this was probably tears of the kingdom because we know in march is when they begin the polishing stages but it, the game came out in may and even if he was doing a little bit of testing after of certain patches he does note there was another game that he also probably spent a good solid eight months at least working on that is assuming that he wasn't just working on multiple games at once which is entirely possible for product testers now he edited and updated testing documents to encourage and inspire creative testing methods by the qa department so he wasn't just your standard qa worker he seemed like somebody who was a little bit further up the chain as he was literally helping with documentation for other qa testers and he communicated directly with team leads to bring attention to any detrimental bugs that would affect long-term project health so again these are the kind of people that make sure these nintendo games come out in a very polished state they don't do the polishing themselves but they discover the things that need to be polished it's a very important job even though they tend to be not paid as well and always not treated the best within the video game industry that's besides the point because what we're talking about here is this other unnamed nintendo title so the curious thing here of course is that of course nintendo has a whole bunch of titles that are done or coming that you know they haven't talked about metroid prime 4 being one of them and it's entirely possible that maybe metroid prime 4 was the game after all he was qa testing on tears of the kingdom coming out of nintendo of japan he clearly could be QA testing for a, any number of Nintendo developed games. Now, here's the thing. This QA testing is going to be for Nintendo developed stuff. What I find fascinating, of course, is that, hey, Nintendo's only new game that they had announced for this year that wasn't a remake or a remaster was Princess Peach Showtime, and it wasn't even made by internal Nintendo. It was made by Goodfeel. And look, 
Goodfield did a great job with other projects in the past, such as Yoshi games and stuff, and they've been the ones that have been spearheading Nintendo, maybe dabbling into Unreal Engine. And I like all of that, but what I'm very curious about is what is this other unnamed Nintendo title? Because if it was in the same sort of testing phase that Tears of the Kingdom clearly was, that would indicate it's probably coming out this year, or at least it was planned to come out this year. Now, there's always caveats to this because, you know, as rumors would have it, Switch 2 was supposed to come out in 2024, so it could have been a Switch 2 title, like maybe the next big 3D Mario game, and so maybe that's what he worked on. But assuming that he was just working on other Nintendo Switch titles from Nintendo developers, and remember, he worked on literally Nintendo's biggest release last year, we could have a Mario Wonder situation on our hands in 2024. What do I mean? They didn't tell us about Mario Wonder until halfway through the year. So we always figured Nintendo must have something up their sleeves. They gotta have some sort of plans. And it appears that there's at least one big unnamed Nintendo title that is arriving this year. What is that gonna be? Again, it literally could be Metroid Prime 4, and I wonder what else could it be? Obviously, a big 3D Mario game for Switch 2 would be on slate, but is it a Mario Kart? Is it a Mario Party? Is it some sort of Mario property at all? Or is it something else entirely? Is it Kid Icarus Uprising coming back? And he was a big QA tester on that coming back in some sort of remake form. I don't know. It could be any number of things. And obviously, at this point, it's all just speculation and guesses. I'm just throwing things out there that I want it to be, not things that we know it to be. But this is actual news, right? There is an unnamed Nintendo project that at least based on this person, this person right here who worked at Nintendo America as a QA tester, there is direct proof here and his profile that he worked on something that looks like it should be time for this year that isn't announced. So again, I am very curious what this is going to be. And I want you guys to actually go down in the comments and start guessing what big game do you think this guy was working on, right? There's got to be something. And I know the easy one's Metroid Prime 4, but as I said, I don't know. Again, we're all just guessing because we don't know what it is. We just know that it looks like it's something that should be coming fairly soon based on what this guy was doing. And then obviously his contract came to an end, which suggests maybe they didn't need him to be doing it anymore. That or he just got a better offer somewhere else and he decided not to renew with Nintendo, which is entirely possible. Again, people in the West, especially, uh, and um, the lower ranks too, down in the QA area, tend to move around a lot between companies as they're just trying to find the best gig for them and their family. So, look, this is some pretty cool stuff. Credit to Dotre81 for digging this up. We're gonna, instead of doing our usual linking to the original source, we're gonna link directly to Dotre81 himself, because I think he deserves full credit on all the research and the time he put into this, the time he continues to put into this kind of stuff. It's one of the most unique things I see in the whole Nintendo news space is what he does. Uh, and I wanna make sure that he's getting all of that credit. Of course, we're gonna continue to cover some of the things that he obviously discovers because it is real news. And we'll continue to cover all the stuff around the industry of Nintendo as well. So if you happen to enjoy this and you're looking forward to all the latest and greatest on Nintendo, whether it's Switch 2 related, the Switch Princess Peach Showtime, if there's something major happening with that, uh, we'll probably cover the reviews on all of that. Uh, if you wanna know the latest on obviously I guess what Nintendo's been doing to emulation lately, we've been covering that as well. And look, hopefully we'll have a lot more coming because supposedly rumored to be there's a Nintendo Direct in April, which again, we haven't heard much of yet. Uh, and coming up, we might be getting new trailers and new looks at Luigi's Mansion 2 HD and the Thousand Year Door. And I definitely, if that stuff gets dropped on Mario 10 Day, new information, want to make sure we're on top of that. And we'll probably do a combo video combining that and any other stories Nintendo happens to drop at that time. But again, we're expecting that because of, again, another leak slash rumor from Pioro. So, you know, we'll just have to hope that that happens rather than no. You guys are awesome. Thank you for being here and I'll catch you in the next video.